Here's an example of Michelangelo's marble statue that was carved between 1501 and 1504, this famous statue of David. David is a figure from the Bible. Artwork from this time in the early 1500s featured the Christian humanist ideal, which can be seen in this David statue. It's visible in his posture, features like young David's furrowed brow. You see, David was a shepherd and is showing natural trepidation for fighting against a giant in a few minutes with only a slingshot in his hand. The unarmored David slays Goliath. He wins. Most artists depicted a triumphant David after the fight, but Michelangelo portrayed David right beforehand. This is the original sculpture. As you can see, it's inside of a museum. It's inside of a popular museum in, in Florence, Italy. The museum is titled Uffizi. There's a large scale replica outside in the town plaza. Now here back in the Sistine Chapel, which is in Rome, there's more evidence from man being create the measure of all things and created in a humanist ideal. See, this is a close up of the ceiling that I just showed you. Uh, the creation of Adam is what this is titled and it represents God and Adam reaching for each other. God is the older man with gray flowing hair who desperately tries to connect with an in intentionally inanimate Adam that will transform physically and spiritually after God bestows life. See, the artist Michelangelo, he pushed all sorts of boundaries and created his artistic vision by painting its deceptively natural and simple scenes with extreme realism. This entire ceiling was restored, not without some controversy, in the 1980s, and it took almost 12 solid years to remove centuries of grime and pollution. Now, on this slide, some theorists think they see a scene which is an unmistakable outline for the human brain formed by angels and puti and cherubs and God's robes surrounding God and continue to assert intelligence is the God's gift to man. See, Michelangelo had many opportunities to dissect and explore cadavers, which are people that have passed away. They're laid out on tables. Michelangelo had the opportunity to look at these bodies and study their muscular sculpture, their muscular makeup, their muscular form during his late teens while serving as an art apprentice underneath a more well-known artist. See, during this time in the Renaissance, there was a great curiosity about the human body and anatomy. However, Religion was the central part of Italian culture and society, and it was forbidden to study the body, kind of considered dirty or usual or inappropriate. The body was seen as sinful, the cause of temptation. In the Old Testament, Adam and Eve eat the apple from the tree of knowledge. They realize their nakedness, and cover themselves with shame. Due to the nudity in this important story, Christians associated nudity with sin and the fall of mankind. 20 years later, Michelangelo returns to this Sistine Chapel to paint this wall titled The Last Judgment. It's a very powerful scene. It was painted in, from 1536 to 1541 and it covers the entire altar wall. Christ is centered here next to Mary, and below Christ, there's a separation of the blessed on the left, in our view, and the damned on the right. 
God is a powerful judge, the Virgin Mary next to Jesus Christ. See, it was centuries since Christ was depicted as not having a beard. This is a new, new way of depicting the look of Christ since uh, he doesn't have a beard. It's suggested that the body of Christ should have been larger than the saints or souls. But painting him like everybody else makes him more makes him more approachable and more understandable, more human. He should have been seated as a throne with some of the criticisms that he received during this time. The souls of the blessed here on the left, they ascend or lift up and are being lifted up by angels. They're being lifted up by hands, but also by rosary beads, which are beads on a necklace that are used to pray with in the Catholic religion. You can see there's a lot of muscular arms. There's scenes of martyrs who died for their religion. Here in the center, these long golden trumpets from the book of Revelations. The angels are male in gender, which some find surprising or different. And they're very loud because they're waking the dead. They emerge the spirits from the earth. On the right side, the damned are being delivered by boat. And there are demons and souls that are, will spend the rest of eternity in hell. There is a person referred to as the damned man. And his expression really says it all. He convincingly includes both the disbelief and the realization that he will be forever condemned. Michelangelo decided to not depict hell itself and leaves it to our imagination.